What's up guys, it's Sadie featuring Antscapes here. If you saw my last video, you would know that I recently got a colony of trap drawers off Antantix. They are a stunning colony, so I wanted to give them a stunning bioactive setup. Who better to ask for help than the king of natural setups, Ryan from Antscapes. With Ryan soon launching his new store, I knew I wanted to get in quick and get some of his products and try one of his services. With Ryan on a video call helping me every step of the way, we managed to create an awesome build. First was the drainage layer. I had to wash the stones and add them to a tank evenly and a couple of inches deep. Then we added the mesh, which I cut oversized and held the corners in place with some stones. I smashed up some charcoal into small pieces and put them on top of the mesh, then sprayed it all down and added some spring towels. Then came the soil mix. And this is where Ryan goes above and beyond. He spent months and months and months and months researching different soil mixes for different species. It's crazy how much work goes into it. So much science. Here I'm doing a tropical style mix. I did 10 big cups of the topsoil, then some cocoa fibre, some sphagnum moss, some orchid bark and some sand. Then with everything in the bucket, I mixed and mixed till it all looked like this. Ryan and I then decided how the layout should go. We decided on a central valley leading under a large piece of wood, with mounds of soil mix supporting it all. We did get a bit distracted with the shape of the wood and once we saw the Tyrannosaurus Rex shape we couldn't unsee it. Then we was ready to get stuck into the box of Antscape goodies. I got lots of different plant cuttings, some mosses, spring towels, some isopods and some other bits and bobs. We worked out where all the twigs and sticks would go and then began adding lots of plants. It was amazing having Ryan on call because he was able to give me lots of information on the plants and what to expect growth wise from them and where would be the best places to add them. When planting I poked holes in the soil where I wanted the plants to go, added the cuttings and then pinched the mud around them. Ryan got me to pick out my favourite plants so they could have a good spots in the tank. Once all the plants were in and we was happy, it was time to fill all the gaps with moss. Confession, I didn't get clips of the moss going in because we got caught up having fun and chatting and creating. But here's it all in and I think it looks epic. The rest of the springtails went in too. And now for these little cuties, the isopods. Never in a million years did I think I would have wood lice for pets. But as an avid watcher of Antscape's live stream on YouTube, they grew on me. And they are just so adorable. I absolutely loved watching them come out and explore. And this is the finished product. I love it. It's so vibrant, so much going on, and I'm kind of jealous of the isopods. I wish I could shrink down and explore this new Antscape's tropical valley. I'm over the moon with how it turned out, and I had so much fun and learnt so much. And to have it all done with the help and advice of a video link service he offers on his shop was amazing. I highly recommend you try this service. What's up guys, Ryan from Manscapes. Sadie, you've done an absolutely fantastic job and I think everybody here would agree, but it's been an absolute pleasure doing this with you. And you know, despite being up until three in the morning, I think you know it's been well worth the time that we've put into it. If you aren't aware, my uh, website will be getting launched very shortly. There's obviously a lot more things to go on there, but at the moment it will be very brief. I do have bioactive consultation services. So if you tell me what species you want to keep, it doesn't just have to be ants. Anything you want to keep, I will do my own independent research. If I already don't know it, I'll do my own independent research, tell you the soils you need, the plants you need, essentially to create a biotope mirroring that inhabitant's natural habitat. I also will be building bespoke terrariums um, and custom made terrariums for collection only. But again, that is for any inhabitant and anything you want to be keeping in there. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. 
but I'm super, super excited. I can't wait to see how this looks. Even in a month's time, it's gonna look completely different and that's what it's all about. But as always from me, peace and love, I'm out. We can't wait for your store to open, Ryan. There's definitely a few bits I want to get. As Ryan said, we started this build late and it wasn't finished till gone 3am. So when my daughter woke up in the morning, she was so impressed and liked it so much that with some of the leftover supplies, she made an Antscape coffee. She did all the same steps I did, but she used a different soil mix because she'll be adding a different species into her one. She will likely do a video on her adding our Lassius Niagara, also known as the machine, colony into the setup, which should be awesome as it's six years old and it has thousands of workers. We also had some leftover plant cuttings, so to save them going to waste, we planted them in these trays with a mix of both of the leftover soil mixes. Maybe for a future build, who knows. One week later, the tanks are awesome. Keeping it very humid in there for a while by spraying the tank down daily and covering the top of the tank with some cling film. And I've got these lights to go above to help the plants and for better viewing. The plants are doing amazing. One has even reached the roof of the tank. I'll make sure I trim that back before adding the ants. It's just so full of life, I love it. I'll be doing a follow up video on the colonies moving into their new stunning homes. Obviously I've got to wait till the tanks are ready for them and that they're established. I'd like to say an absolute massive thank you to Ryan. I learned so much and had so much fun and ended up with such an amazing build. As soon as his shop is up and running, which could be very, very soon, I'll link the description. Also, check out his YouTube channel. I'll link that too. And come join the chats on his live. Lots of fun and lots of great people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Listen, Ryan may be the best at natural setups, but I absolutely destroy him on Call of Duty. Bye.